pages for <laughs> D made a video confirming that <laughs> the fuck reality check roundup girl the fuck Kuta wants a girl that goes to the gym and I terribly want him to pick me so I decided today that I'm going to go to the gym and now you've got a very clear view of my very flat swapper bum. I don't know what this exercise is called, but I've heard the gym girlies talking about a split. And this exercise as you split in your legs. Everybody thinks this exercise trains your bum, but that is not the primary muscle that's been trained. But what do I know? I don't have a diploma in personal training. This exercise, I'm preparing for the day. That Kuto is going to bend me over. Guys, welcome back to yet another video, guys. And that is Dee's TikTok or a video that she basically did. And I'm just like, the shade. The shade she's throwing on that video, firstly, with the title. Uh, basically, she, her saying that she wants a Kuto to pick her. And now I'm just thinking, do you really, Dee? You know, you see what you see what Kutsu was speaking about, guys. Even the old disrespect thing. This is so disrespectful. I mean, if things don't work out between two people, why are you doing videos like this? Like this, this is borderline like disrespectful. But the thing for me that that makes me see with dying and Bella, this girl, she has a problem of listening and when she's believe when she is convinced of something in her head she will run with it and no one can tell her otherwise because this video is basically giving that she's basically saying the reason why Kutsu did not pick her is because of the gym thing and I'm just like maybe the gym thing was an issue guys but I'm just like that's not the only issue that Ukutsu had it was the disrespect it's the fact that you do, you don't listen and 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 like the gym thing is just like one aspect of it but also the psychism that this girl has she is basically saying she's never been there now guys if you look at this body you can see at the end, even when she's flexing her muscle, her arm, she's got muscle for days. And there's no way a person can have muscle like that unless they are lifting and unless they actually do go to the gym. So, <laughs> how y'all feeling today? Huh? The gossip pages for. <laughs> D made a video confirming that. <laughs> The fuck? Did we not all grow up? Okay, maybe some of you not, but some of you, the one, the gossip girls, we definitely are millennials, okay? Reality check roundup, girl. We're millennials. You and I were millennials. When the internet arrived, what were we taught? Don't believe everything you see online. The fuck? And also, <laughs> Ever since when do I speak like when I'm loud as fuck? I'm obnoxious as fuck. When did I get a Nora Smith voice? And your intelligence must be in the gutter because how did you not pick up on that sarcasm? I've been telling on myself. I've been telling on myself that I'm still with this man. Mm? Hi, everybody. San Bonani. Welcome to Reality Buzz TV, where we talk about all things reality TV shows and all things reality TV show stars. So what you have just seen here <laughs> is our reality star, Udi. Okay, she was on Married at First Sight in Zanzi season one. And she ended up finding herself a very good looking husband, okay? <laughs> Ukuso, okay? I believe from what we've seen, you guys, that Kuto is a good guy, but there are people online that are saying, okay, he's not really a good one. We've seen them on their social media, they are together. I have a video where uh, her and her son and Kuto 
uh, in the same room and the son is asking about them meeting, you know, if they knew each other when they met for the first time. So I think that from all that we've seen online, they are together. But since these are couples that met on uh, the show, we are always looking for signs. Are they having any issues? Are they going their separate ways? And most of the videos are going to be about that. So what had happened here is that she had posted a video. I had seen that video, you guys, where she was just talking about going to the gym and all of that. And I felt like she was making jokes about going to the gym because Kuto wanted somebody that goes to the gym and has a big butt. Okay. I kind of feel like all the men want big butts. It's just that half of us don't have it. <laughs> what are they going to do? Okay, they can't even afford to give us money to do the BBL. So what are they going to do? They're going to take us with our fat <laughs> They're going to take us with our fat butts. Okay, some of us don't even mind our fat butts. So now you guys, a reality uh, check roundup. I hope I'm pronouncing the name of the channel correct. She also does reality TV shows and she has spoken a lot about uh, Married at First Sight, Mzansi. Okay, she does commentary at a um, voiceover channel. So she had spoken about that video in uh, just talking about how she was feeling like it might just be a sign that things are not going okay between Ukuto uh Nodi. Okay. I think the only thing she got wrong on her video was her saying that Udi and Okuto might not be together. But I thought that she got the, the fact that it, the whole thing was a joke because even on her video she does say that uh D was being sarcastic. Okay. So now D came back to respond. I don't know if D didn't watch the whole video got reality round up, you know because I feel like she is responding as if Reality Roundup didn't get the fact that she was just joking. She didn't get the fact that she was just being sarcastic. And also she is just mocking the whole thing of Reality Roundup, uh, making the conclusion that her and Kutu are not together. Listen, you guys, if somebody makes a video about you, you have every right to respond. But I always feel like, you guys, when it comes to reality shows, people go on reality shows, they always say that they were prepared, okay? They were prepared for what was going to come with being on a reality show. But once they do a reality show, you actually realize that they were not prepared. Because I feel like Kuto should know that everything that she does now is an, an idea of a video, Okay. We see you sitting in a coffee shop, drinking your coffee alone. That means you have broken up with your husband, okay? We see you driving past, you know, the mental hospital. Yeah, your husband has dri <laughs> is driving you crazy to a point where you are admitted into a mental hospital. That is just what happens. Okay, we see you at shop rights. Hey, Kuto and D are broke now. They are shopping at shop rights. They are not buying at Woolworths. That's what happens when you do a reality show. Everything that you do and say is a potential video. And I'm just imagining how exhausted she's going to be if she's going to reply to all of the videos. Sometimes you see something online and as an entertainment um blogger you know that there are possibilities that this is not true but you can also see that a lot of people are believing it or a lot of people are interacting on that subject and you will still do the video even though deep down you know that it's not true because the whole point of doing the videos is so that you can get the views and you can get the interaction you know if you can have a conversation under your video whether people are saying what you're saying is true or whether they are saying you are lying it does not matter at the end of the day you are getting the interaction so sometimes somebody will make a video it's not like they really believe that you and Kuto broke up but they know that that subject people are going to be interested in it if the video is there are possibilities that they and Kuto went their separate ways. So now I was looking at her and I was like, the, the reply is quite fun to watch. I don't want to lie, you guys. But I was thinking, how exhausting is she uh, going to feel? How exhausted is she going to be 
if she decides that every gossip that is done about her and Kuto that is talking about something that is not true, she's going to reply to it because she's, she's about to be as busy as the gossip bloggers because <laughs> we do a story in the morning, we do a story midday, we do a story in the evening, we do a story in the middle of the night, okay? If there's something interesting to talk about as far as entertainment and gossip is concerned, we are going to do a video. She is going to get tired of it. That's why I say, you guys, that most of them go on these reality shows, but they are not prepared for what comes with it okay we see you wearing ugly shoes we are going to talk about it we see you wearing nice shoes we are going to talk about it you are carrying a cheap bag we talk about it you are carrying a too expensive bag we, we're going to talk about it how long are you going to answer these videos okay because then it means that every video you're going to have to sit and watch all of it and then you're going to have to sit down now and do a reply video. You will not be able to catch up. <laughs> and also, when you do a video to respond to somebody that has done a video about you, that also creates more videos because now you have replied to Reality Check Roundup. And now I'm talking about your reply. Somebody might talk about my video on your reply. Oh, somebody had not seen your initial video, did not see Reality Roundup's video, but they're going to see my video. Now they are going to go find your video on your social media, and then they are going to go and do their own video. So the more you reply, the more that it's just more that is being said. You're not going to be able to control it. You're not going to be able to answer everybody otherwise you're going to be very very obese okay <laughs> so guys, before you go on these reality shows really really think about it because you are not going to be able to control the narrative sometimes you are at home sitting being very happy in your marriage but we are online talking about how you are getting a divorce okay because there's an article in one newspaper that is talking about you getting a divorce how are you going to control that okay <laughs> You have to find a way to just be happy with your life and let the gossipers do what the gossipers do, which is gossip, okay? <laughs> anyway, you guys, that's all that I wanted to talk about, okay? Dee is very busy. She's bothered by the gossipers, but I don't know how long she's going to last in this space because gossipers will not stop, okay? For all you know, Reality Roundup is editing a video right now replying to her. So when is it going to end? <laughs> Make sure that when you go on these reality shows, you understand that now you don't just deal with this uh, daily sun, with the Sunday world, but you are also dealing with Abondandong Ledger here on YouTube. You are dealing with whoever on TikTok, on Facebook, everywhere. Everybody wants to have an opinion. And also people are not really bothered whether... It's the truth or not. The, 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 the point is to get the views. The point is to get the interaction under your videos. So people are not really worried about whether what they're talking about is true or not. Sometimes your, video, your whole video can be just speculation. And you can just say even in a video that you are speculating. And under your video, people will be speculating some more. Okay, But the more that you reply to it, you actually are helping the gossipers. But we don't, we don't mind. But I'm just saying... How exhausted are you going to be if you do that every time that somebody does a video about you, whether it's true or not? Because quite honestly, sometimes we don't care about the truth. We care about the views and the interaction. Anyway, you guys, tell me what you think about this in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like the video before Pumegona share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers in Tanda.